Mark and Michelle, we rode with state troopers who say drivers with suspended licenses may skirt the law in other very costly ways. It was one of the worst wrecks in recent history. Carnage. That's the only way you can describe it as carnage. In all, 13 vehicles were involved. Two people died and dozens of lives were impacted forever. The accident happened last month on Main Street in Dayton. Officers say they may never know why the crash occurred, but have since determined neither of the drivers who died had a valid license. The senseless um, injury, senseless deaths that you see on the, on the roadway easily could have been avoided had the person decided to uh, fulfill their obligation, whether not to drive or just stay away uh, from a vehicle in the first place. Sergeant Jeff Kramer with the State Highway Patrol says the statistics are startling. This year in Montgomery County, there have been more than 150,000 license suspensions. While not all of those drivers will get behind the wheel after the first offense, Kramer says oftentimes that is the case. It is a concern uh, specifically for law enforcement officers. If somebody decides not to take care of their obligations to keep a valid license, that they're going to be likely to uh, not um, care really about other laws that uh, are in effect for everybody's safety. Probably three of a six on Gettysburg at Oak Ridge. Out on routine patrol, it took mere minutes for troopers to find a teenage driver breaking the law. Turns out she was under several suspensions uh, through the juvenile court here in the Montgomery County. Do you have a library card or any kind of identification on you at all? Nothing in your purse or nothing? Despite denying she had any ID, troopers eventually found two forms in her bag. They say she lied about her identity, claiming to be her sister, and that's when they called her mom to the scene. Who's that? Is that you or your sister? That's my sister. But the trouble didn't stop there. Upon running, uh, the, the mother of the 17-year-old found that she was under suspension, uh, under lengthy suspensions, and I believe had a warrant for her arrest for not appearing in court for traffic violations. Driver licenses may be suspended or revoked for both driving and non-driving reasons. This year in Montgomery County, more than half of the active suspensions are for non-compliance. Almost 12,000 have 12 points on their license for violations like drunk driving and speeding. Nearly 11,000 lost their license because they owe child support. And while some see driving under suspension as a victimless crime, Kramer insists it impacts us all whether insurance rates or, in the worst case, lives lost in accidents. Why were you running? I have had driving under suspension. We find in law enforcement as somebody with uh, under suspension, um, they're going to be more likely uh, to maybe flee a traffic stop, flee a scene of any kind. Um, a lot of uh, pursuits that are involved, especially in the traffic enforcement arena that we're in, uh, people may choose to try to flee to avoid being caught for driving under suspension, which in turn leads all kinds of possibilities that usually don't end well. Even if the results aren't fatal, troopers believe they need to protect you from those drivers who disregard the law and are a threat to your safety. It's not uh, if you get caught, it's really going to be when you get caught. And you, when you get caught, uh, you'll pay the price. Now, the price can be hefty from 75 up to $500. Of course, the more suspensions you have, the higher the fees go. Megan, we heard pretty clearly from the troopers on this. Wondering, though, what the judges have to say about this. Well, we actually talked to two local municipal judges, and both of them say that they are concerned about chronic lawbreakers, but they also say they believe it's best to handle many of these cases with intervention programs or electronic home monitoring to free up jail space for the persistent of dangerous offenders. Now, still, Megan, though, I'm sure there are people who still want the judges to be a little bit harder on these people. Oh, absolutely. There are a lot of people who think jail is the only kind of punishment, but the judges tell us many of the drivers they encounter risk driving under suspension because they can't pay those expensive reinstatement fees. Having said that, judges also tell me you may be able to work out a payment plan for those reinstatement fees and get limited driving privileges that allow you to go to and from work, for instance. A bankruptcy could also be a way to get those fees waived. All right, Megan, thank you. It's a very important issue. We appreciate it. We also have exclusive web extra content on this investigation. Go to WDTN.com, click on the story to see a map that will show you exactly how many license suspensions have occurred in your county so far in the year 2009.